This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video and this time it is going to be on a new zodiac combo for the link era of the game now it's a little bit different from anything you've seen before most of them involve just barrage or using gofu alongside a one card zoo combo to gain resources but this is a true to life one specific card combo that ends with a good board in the link era now this isn't possible to be done until we get proxy dragon in the mega tens so late august and so that's fine because that means we'll still have a couple of weeks to play with this of regionals before the earliest possible ban list we would receive is which is supposed to be in september early to mid september at the earliest probably was what konami told us but so this is a one card combo it requires a predator plant scorpio or lone fire technically i guess it's a one and a half card combo because you have to have a monster to discard for it but you're playing lone fires you're playing scorpios uh you're playing a lot of cards that actually get to it so the potential is actually there but i don't think this is going to be anything that's really competitively like defining or viable specifically because of how clunky it makes the deck but it is still cool in concept to see what you can do with this one card now this one card Predator Plant Orphus Scorpio is going to end you with a Mrs. Radiant, a Proxy Dragon, and a Dryden, and any rank 4 of your choosing, usually Digesto Emerald being protected by the Proxy Dragon. So, it's, it's, uh, and it's, it makes you have a free rank 4 next turn as well. Uh, so there's, there's, there's a lot of good things about it. So, instead of just sitting here and gassing for a while, I'm just gonna go ahead and start showing you what the combo is. Now, you need another monster. And if you have access to Lone Fire, then you are just going to normal summon the Lone Fire and you're going to go through all the Lone Fires in your deck before you do anything else. I apologize for the lag. It is late at night when I'm filming this and that is when uh, Dueling Book seems to be the most unstable for me. I should have should have planned this ahead. But so, if you have Lone Fire, you're just going to cycle through all your Lone Fires and then you're going to get out your Orphus Scorpio. And then your Scorpio is going to use its effect to discard whatever card was in your hand and then you're going to summon your Darling Cobra from your deck. Where is the Darling Cobra? There it is. Now this combo is possible if you open any of these. There's a lot of there's a lot of like essential garnets in this deck that you need for this combo. Uh, but this combo is possible if you open any of them except for Darling Cobra and except for uh, I believe it's Trick Clown and the Garnet. Um, there's no it, Trick Clown is possible still. Uh, but regardless, uh, there's two cards you can't open. To make this combo uh, like not happen, which is a bit upsetting, which is why I think it might not be competitively viable. But again, it's just it's a cool party trick, you know. And if somebody can like make it not as clunky, then that could work as well. But anyway, so you're gonna overlay these. Well, you're gonna get your search off the Darling Cobra. I skipped a step there. You're gonna get your search off the Darling Cobra for Brilliant Fusion. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use Emic Saber Invoker with your two Preta plants and you're going to detach and you're not going to summon a zoo monster here. You're going to summon Heroic Champion or Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades because he's an earth monster and he likes being in the graveyard. So we're going to summon the Thousand Blades off of the MX Saber Invoker because it is a possible thing because you can summon an earth level 4 warrior or beast warrior from your deck. And so then you're going to just immediately link summon with these two cards into your Mrs. Radiant in the uh, in the zone. Damn, this lag is getting me. It's really, really getting me. But so you're going to go into Mrs. Radiant into your into your extra deck, extra deck zone essentially, and then you're going to activate the Brilliant Fusion, summoning Seraph Knight, and then you're going to use that to send Garnet and Trick Clown from your deck to the grave. So you've used one normal summon, but you're gaining an additional normal summon off the Seraph Knight. Uh, now this is a this is a combo that has multiple variations of what you could have opened to allow it to be possible, like if you opened the Thousand Blades, then you just get Rap here, uh, essentially, or like just some zoo monster like Ram Ram off of, uh, off of the, uh, off of the Invoker, and send that to Grave for your Link Summon, and then you normal summon the Thousand Blades later. Uh, but so you'll have the Trick Clown in Grave, the Trick Clown will use its effect paying a Thousand to Special Summon itself, and then the Thousand Blades, because you took damage, will also Special Summon itself. So, you just make a free rank 4 here before anything else is done. Close, please, Graveyard. I would like to continue with this 
with this hypothetical combo situation. But then you're going to overlay the Trick Clown and the Thousand Blades here into your Zodiac Broad Bull. So you're going to overlay this in defense, and this has to go into one of the Mrs. Radiant zones. And then from here, come on, move over. Move over, ya buster. M move. <laughs> move. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh, but so you're going to make Broad Bull the regular way, and then you're going to detach Thousand Blades from it. You specifically want to keep the Trick Clown under it, because that's what preserves your ability to make a rank 4 for free the next turn. But so you're going to add Rat Pierre to your hand here if you didn't already have it. And you got you have an additional Normal Summon off the Seraph Knight. So you've got the ability to Normal Summon your Rat Pierre here. So you're going to Normal Summon the Rat Pierre, and the Rat Pierre is going to use its effect to send Ram Ram to Grave. Specifically Ram Ram. You need Ram Ram in Grave for this because it's the obvious old zoo combo. But so Ram Ram goes to Grave, and now from here, you can't really do anything until you Link Summon into your proxy dragon. So you're going to send the Rat Pier and the Seraph Knight to your graveyard and you're going to Link Summon for the proxy dragon in the Mrs. Radiant zone that it allows you. So now you've got both these occupied but now proxy dragon gives you two more zones to work with. But so now we can still make Broad Bull again in this combo because we made that the regular way but so as you can see the extra deck is really tight. <laughs> so that's another reason why this might be anything but a uh, just a cool hypothetical. But so you're going to make Tiger Mortar and you're going to detach the Broad Bull off of it and you're going to re-equip the Rat Pier underneath the Tiger Mortar and then you're going to detach the Rat Pier to summon another Rat Pier from your deck. So uh, it doesn't really matter what zone you put it in per se, but where is the Rat Pier? Why is, why is every card I look for always like at the very bottom of the stack? That's irritating. Uh, but so Rat Pier comes out here and now you have access to making Broad Bull again because we've made Broad Bull with two level fours so you can actually just stack Broad Bull on top of the Tiger Mortar and the entire time we're doing this we're keeping this Trick Clown underneath but so we're gonna attach the Tiger Mortar we're gonna get a search for whatever we want probably a Whip Tail let's be honest Whip Tail is the best quick play Axe of Despair that I ever did see but so you're gonna add Whip Tail to your hand and then you are going to overlay the Broad Bull with a Chalk and Nine, and from here it should be pretty self-exclamatory. You're going to do the Chalk and Nine play, bringing back the Ram Ram, and then you're going to make the Dryden play uh, to pop it and do stuff like that, but we're actually going to throw an extra material on it first, and that is going to be with Hammer Kong on top of the Chalk and Nine, and then we're going to put the Dryden on top of the Hammer Kong. And so, we'll use Dryden't to pop the Ram Ram, and then the Ram Ram will trigger floating back the Rap here. And so now from here, you'll be able to overlay these in the zone that the Proxy Dragon is pointing to into a Digusto Emerald. And you've got plenty, oh boy, do you have plenty of, uh, of things in Grave for this Digusto Emerald to shuffle back. So you're going to attach this, and the thing is, you already have a free rank 4 the next turn, uh, because of the fact that this Trick Clown is going to be able to trigger Thousand Blades again, which is still in Grave. Uh, so basically, like you're probably just going to put back a bunch of cards that you want in your extra deck, like this, the Tiger Mortar that was one of, the Broad Bull that's one of in this list, and then something like the Garnet or whatever, maybe, I don't know. It might just literally be this, or it might be the Rat Pier, but I don't think the Rat Pier needs to necessarily go back off this one. Uh, it's 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 all very subjective at this point, uh, but so let's just say we put the other broad bull back, and then we just draw a random card of whatever whatever this could be. It could be another monster. It could be a spell or a trap. It could be whatever. But so this is what you end with. You end with a Mrs. Radiant, which Mrs. Radiant, if it dies, can one put itself back into the extra deck if it wants, or you can add back Whip Tail if you end up using it. It can add back your Rat Pier. It can do all sorts of nonsense. Uh, and then you end up with a Dryden that has protection from your opponent's stuff because of Proxy Dragon. Proxy Dragon's effect is if a card or cards you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one monster this card points to instead. So, if your opponent was like would try to like summon Dryden or summon any monster and attack over Dryden that would be out of Whiptail range to force you to Dryden pop, you could actually use Proxy Dragon to send the Dicasto Emerald to Graveyard instead. And this also works against board wipes. If your opponent activated Raigeki on their turn, you'd be able to use Proxy Dragon to send 
Emerald a grave because it would just protect all of the other monsters from the destruction because it just lets you destroy one other monster instead of destroying any number of cards that would be destroyed. So, like, it's it's a fantastic thing. It protects you from Twin Twister, protects you from a bunch of things. And then you still have another zone over here that you can utilize next turn, even if all of this stays on the board, which is great because during your next turn, you could very easily detach Trick Clown. Trick Clown and Thousand Blades both have a zone to come back into, and you can make another rank four of your choosing, whether it's a Broad Bull, whether it's another Emerald, whatever, what have you. Now, I really like this combo just for the theory of it, uh, because you can make any rank four that you want here, but it does take up a lot of your extra deck space. Like, we shuffled back three extra deck monsters for off that Emerald, and we still only have seven. So, like, these were the only four cards that we didn't use in the extra deck, so that's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit daunting, essentially, but sorry this video was as long as it was, I had to deal with the lag on Dueling Book, but, I mean, I don't have these cards right now to mess with and do, like, an IRL combo tutorial, so sucks to suck, but anyway, this is a, a cool little theoretical that could be played around with, but I don't think it's gonna be anything competitively viable because of how much room it takes in your main deck and your extra deck, but hey, Someone might play like this for fun at like a locals or something because it's just a it's a really thorough literally one card combo because it's the Scorpio or Lone Fire plus any monster in your deck so it's a two card combo in terms of what you invest into it but you end up with one two three four five six cards you go plus four off of it you end up with a dead brilliant fusion but that doesn't really matter but you end up with a proxy dragon that provides you protection Mrs Radiant when it dies gets an Earth back so like it's it's a very it's a very nice neat little combo but anyway as as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always like comment subscribe as usual links as always in the description to my facebook fan page and my personal patreon page if you want to support the channel directly then patreon is the best way to do so it helps me keep having time to put towards making quality content of whatever amount that you guys like to see so definitely go check that out and maybe consider contributing to that and you'd have my eternal gratitude if you did so but other than that as i've already said thanks for watching guys thanks for your time as usual and take care i will see you in the next video